Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in for what's going to be a quickie review of a product from a new to me brand. No cosmetics. I was perusing this for a website with purpose, not although I do just kind of go on there just to look can never hurt, but I was looking specifically for setting powders. A couple of you guys asked me to do an overview, some of my favorites, specifically comparing the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores with the By Terry Hyaluronic um, against the Kat Von D, kind of my tried and true love as of late, the Kat Von D translucent powder. So just know that is coming up soon, but on my way down that path, I happened to stumble upon the this brand No Cosmetics and their No My Lips Are Sealed lipstick top coat. This thing promises, promises to turn any lip product into a transfer free, fade free lip product. And there are a few similar products out there. There's one that's this liquid, I forget the brand, but it smells horrible. It stings on the lips. It dries your lips out like crazy. It's effective, but painful. And then there are some of those products like the mattifying lip top coats that Smashbox has. I compared, I didn't compare that product because I don't have it, but I tried instead a mattifying face primer that worked pretty nicely. So there are products like this that exist out there, but not exactly that promise to be a sealant and act as a non-transfer fade-free barrier sort of thing. So I wanted to try this out. This is the box. You also receive instructions and then this is the little package itself. You can hear there is a mixing ball inside. There are two ingredients in this though because I wanted to see um, once I get more into the texture. In fact, let's just go ahead and talk about that. You open this guy up and there is a paddle and then you can see, I'll do it up close here, you can see this is kind of like a silicone texture. It's kind of cloudy, but for the most part clear, looks like a gel, kind of looks like a clear face primer, and that's pretty much how it feels on the lips. But there are two ingredients, only two ingredients, um, I can't pronounce them, polyperfluoroisopropyl ether and silica dimethyl silylate really not sure I said those correctly, but really only those two ingredients to get this job done. And in knowing that and comparing the ingredients, there wasn't one particular primer that leaned heavily on either of those. So similar looking composition, but different formula. The nice thing about this is it has a paddle applicator, which another product recently had, and I felt, oh, it was the J Manual Beauty uses this as their lip gloss applicators, and I've come to love them because it ensures that if any product transfers on, like if you have a lipstick down, your the color might transfer onto the paddle, but a paddle is so much easier to clean off than a fuzzy doe foot that really clings to that product. Then you put that in there and you contaminate it and like you're muddying the color inside the tube. This ensures that you apply the product all over your lip. You're undoubtedly going to have transfer because that's exactly what this product's trying to prevent. And it's super easy to clean off and stick back in the tube. You can see I literally just use this on these hot red lips right here and it's a totally clean wand. So the gist is you shake this up good and proper and then you apply this all over your, your lips. You let it dry. I have experienced, depending on the lip color under the lip product underneath. I experience varying drying times. Sometimes it's 30 seconds, sometimes it takes up to a minute. In the demo you see here, I am applying it over this red L'Oreal lipstick. I'm not sure the line, but it's in the shade uh, British Red. I'm applying it over this lipstick and I would say it took about a minute. I'm fast forwarding here. But after that time, you can see the side that I didn't apply it on is totally transferring on my finger, whereas the side I did apply it on, totally transfer proof awesome. Here today for reference, I was feeling the red lip once again, but I wanted to try it over a different product that isn't as sure to dry, kind of dry down and set as, you know, a traditional lipstick is. And so I'm wearing it over the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This surprisingly took a little bit fat. It was faster to dry about 30 seconds. And you can see, I mean, transfer, there's a little bit of transfer on my lower lip where it's not sealed. So you do have to be careful that everything gets sealed, but like white cup, like, what? And the glosses, the pro glosses, definitely do not dry entirely on your lips. Like you're going to experience some transfer. And the L'Oreal Pro glosses, even though they're not glossy glossy, they definitely don't dry completely down on the lips. So to have a product like that work in conjunction with this, was a pretty big win for me. So all in all, once this dries on your lips, I find that it really does make your lipstick pretty transfer proof. And so if you are drinking in the morning, if you're lightly snacking like on, you know, nutrition bars or whatever it is you like to snack on, very, very, what's the word I'm looking at? Foods that 
you know, don't put a whole lot of wear and tear on your lips, this is going to help extend the life of your lipstick because it's not transferring onto drinks, your mugs, your water bottles, whatever it is you're drinking. However, I the same day that I applied uh, this onto one side of my lips, I wore it like that throughout the day. And after lunch, I had a salad, um, nothing particularly like greasy or oily to break down the lipstick, but both sides wore down equally. So it's really just a matter of trans or preventing that transfer from your lipstick to, you know, your coffee mugs, which are sometimes really hard to get off or your shirt collars, which are even harder to get off. This is incredibly effective at preventing that. In addition to that, it didn't dry my lips out at all. One thing I was kind of concerned about, like I said, I have tried a product out there where it literally seals in your lips and you're, it's just painful. It's, it's very effective, but very painful. This is super cushy and comfy on the lips. You can see from the silicone texture, it applies, glides on really easily. It dries down very, I mean, gently for lack of a better word. And it just does not dry your lips out any more than the product that you're already wearing might. So all in all, I really have to recommend this. If you like to wear bold lip colors and you're constantly struggling with your lip color transferring onto your mugs, your clothing, the rest of your face, sometimes my hair will blow into my lips and then I'll pull it away and you get that, that streak of whatever it is across the rest of your face, this will help prevent that. It does slightly mattify the lips, just a tinge. You know, the L'Oreal Pro Gloss has a slightly balmy finish and you can see here it is totally matte so that is one side effect of this product but I would say to get the bold transfer proof color well well worth it in my book and it's the first product that I've tried that's done that effectively so if you've tried something different something cheaper more affordable definitely let me know in the comments below but besides that those are my thoughts on this guy so really hope you enjoyed learning more about it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video bye guys